Well, there seems to be hope that in the coming days, the spate of violent attacks across the country will be contained. But that can only happen if the National Security Council speeds up its new strategies to curtail the worsening insecurity in the country. On Thursday, the Security Council acknowledged that Nigerians are tired and now gravitating towards self-help. And with that in mind, the National Security Advisor Major General Babagana Mungudu says the federal government is relying on the assurances by the service chiefs claiming that there will be a change in operational momentum. Sita's correspondent Femi Akonde has more. Another Security Council meeting which again reflects the mood of the nation and depicts a frightening security situation that for now has defied all solutions thrown at it. The outcome this time is an announcement that security agencies are working on a new strategy to deal with existing and emerging threats to national security. The members of the armed forces have also made a commitment that in the coming weeks, They've already started working on a new strategy to deal with these snippets of violence. And they've given their word, their commitment to the president that there will be a change in momentum. Data from the Nigeria Security Tracker, a project of the Council on Foreign Relations of the United States, reveals that activities of violent, non-state actors had claimed more than 5,000 lives nationwide between January and June this year. At least 996 persons were violently killed in January, 765 in February, 1,214 in March, 917 in April, 594 in May, and 736 in June, totaling 5,222 in the first half of this year alone. It is at this Security Council meeting that new strategies to end the killings and violent crimes are conceived and a plan of action is developed. But to stop this escalating insecurity, the federal government insists it must be with the support of citizens. In this type of asymmetric conflict is a collective effort. It's not something that should be confined to only the security, intelligence and law enforcement agencies. When we keep saying whole of society approach, whole of government approach, to get a whole of nation approach, what it means is that everybody has to partake in this enterprise. Already the security threat level in the federal capital has been raised, especially after the recent ambush of soldiers from the Presidential Guard Brigade. The Kuje jailbreak is another breach of national security that has left many questions unanswered. Council is in the process of winding up the special investigative panel on the Kuje incident and the idea is to come up with recommendations, hold those who are supposed to be held accountable for their deeds and to ensure that this type of thing never ever ever happens again in this country. The federal government also acknowledges that citizens are tired and gravitating towards self-help. It appears the federal government is also worried about how the media reports issues of insecurity and the effect it has on the population, especially as the events in recent days have impacted the approval rating of President Buhari's administration. But the president is in a race against time to turn the tide. Femi Akonde, TVC News, Abuja.